Welcome back, my people. I'm glad you could take a few minutes out of your day to check out these videos. What I'm gonna talk to you about today is how to hold an intelligent conversation with people. How do I talk to somebody about God or how do I communicate with somebody face to face, like on a date or really just in general? How do, how do I keep a, an intelligent conversation going? You know how it is whenever you talk with someone and sometimes it get boring and you're sitting there like, I don't really know what else to say. You know, the conversation get kind of dead and you don't want to start talking about stupid stuff. You know, you want to stay zoned in on the topic, but you don't have anything else to say. So how do you keep the conversation going without looking like a retard, right? We all are put in that position sometimes. Sometimes we all run out of things to say. So I'm going to give you a few tips today that are definitely going to help you out. First of all, what I wanna share with you is there's gonna be a lot of conversations that you're gonna have on a daily basis and throughout your whole life. It may be uh, job interviews, it may be with a friend, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, uh, your family, you know, counseling people, helping people, spreading the word of God. I mean, anything in the school, any any type of situation that you encounter, you have to be face to face with people. The very first thing I'm gonna share with you is eye contact. You wanna learn to make good eye contact. I'm not saying you have to sit there and stare at somebody the whole time, but it looks a whole lot better if you're making eye contact with them, you know, you're zoning in while you're talking to them. That let them know that you are confident in what you're talking about. Even on a date, if you go out to eat with someone or if you meet someone's mother or someone's cousin or anything like that, whatever you're talking about, they're looking at you to make sure that you're confident in what you're saying. For example, let me give you a bad example. For example, if I'm talking to you about a business idea that I have and the whole time I'm looking down like, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's yeah. Okay. Yeah. I want to do this though. Yeah. That's it. You're going to be like, man, what is this guy talking about? This guy's not even confident in what he's saying. But if I'm looking at you and I'm saying, Hey, I need to borrow $30,000 because I want to take, I want to get this building over here. I want to start this. I want people to come over here. We're going to work it like this. We're going to do this. Here's the business plan. This is what I have drawn up. Take a few days to read over it. Call me back. Let me know what you think. I'm definitely confident in it. You know, people, people will, will be willing to go with the flow. They'll learn to believe what you're saying because you're zoned in. You're not looking all way away like you're you know like you're putting up a guard all right point number two i'm gonna give you is you need to pause and take breaks okay don't keep rambling on and on and on and on the the worst thing you can do is think that rambling on and on and on makes you have a good conversation you want to pause pause during your conversations it's okay to relax for example Last weekend, I went to the park, and you know what? I played baseball all day. Man, I had a great time out there, definitely. Pause, give the other person a chance to, you know, play ping pong with you. Give the other person a chance to say, oh, did you steal any bases? Did you hit a home run or anything? Because if you keep going on and on, you lose that window for them to inquire about more things and because you want to give that person a chance to be involved in the conversation, right? That way, you're, that way you're getting two people involved. Instead of me just going and telling a 20 minute story, you might want to pause after every minute. Let that person get a, oh, for real? Wow, that's amazing. Oh, okay. Man, I didn't know you did that. Okay. It keeps them involved because if you don't get the other person involved, you're just sitting here just telling a story. But when you're face to face, you want to get people involved. They feel they feel more connected, right? Point number three I'm going to share with you is to ask questions during the conversation. Even if you go on a first date or a 50th date or anything, this could be at work or anything. The more you ask questions, the more the more people are flattered. The more they can't wait to give you their response because everybody likes talking. Okay, everybody likes talking. So whenever you be an inquisitive, per I believe that's the word. I, I don't have a dictionary with me, but whenever you be inquisitive, that just sounds good to say. Whenever you ask questions, people are flattered because everybody wants everybody wants to share some words with everybody and there's nobody going around asking questions because everybody wants to talk so that's where you come in at that that's where you come and make the difference at that's where you gain attention you gain all these friends you gain a closer relationship with people because you need to inquire about things even though you might not want to hear you might not care anything about your co-workers trip to atlanta but you know what you just might get that raise with your boss because you know what 
you did something nobody else doing and that's asking questions you know you're, you're you're digging deeper into that weekend nobody else cares you know it's not a matter if you care or not it's the fact of carrying on a conversation you, you want to play ping pong with people you don't just want to smash it on them every time and only you be the one talking some of y'all just just be smashing like that you know i mean we all human we all struggle with it every now and then i'm not saying uh you know for you to be a perfect person i'm just saying these are ways that you can learn to carry on an intelligent conversation you know what i mean so look i hope they helped you out man you know this can help uh at work at school even if you go on dates or whatever it might be so i challenge you to try these three steps out let me know how it works for you in your life i think it'll help you out a lot